I was woken up by helicopters that morning and I put the radio on and that it was on the news obviously so uh, I leapt out of bed and I ran down the road and I was there within 10 minutes a fire had really taken hold and I pressed down there a lot of people down there everybody totally in shock I was interviewed for a radio station and they said well what can people do what can people do and I was just looking at it and I thought Psst actually nothing so I just said pray and I was sort of attacked for that but actually there was nothing any of us could do there was nobody on the ground nobody organizing anything but all the campaign groups they set up this whatsapp group straight away and they were organizing and helping people and getting people food and clothing and warm. some people had run out in their underwear and they had nothing to wear so I had people from all parts of London who were friends so there were social workers housing officers offering their help and it was turned down we had an emergency plan I don't know what happened to it. What some of the leaseholders have said to me is, I had a really beautiful two-bed flat mm -hmm. in North Kensington. I want that back. £320,000 is not going to scrape the surface. They're not going to get that back. The legal implications of that are going to go on for a very, very long time. Somebody had put an application to have it demolished at some point, but that doesn't mean it was going to, ever going to happen. I don't think that was ever part of the plan. A number of people have written to me with lovely ideas for the, for the site when, once it's cleared. But it's not for me to say what should happen there. It's really for the survivors and the near neighbours to decide. I can't imagine anybody wanting to build homes or to build anything there. But that's not for me to say. The rules are actually already there. The Lacanol uh, recommendations, the post Lacanol fire recommendations have been knocking about for three years and they've refused to implement them. If they'd implemented them, Grenfell couldn't have happened. It's, going, it's not going to give us the answers that we need because we know what happened, we were there. We know what happened, we want to know why. There has to be either corporate or individual manslaughter charges, there has to be. If, there's, if people tell me and if somebody goes to jail, that it's a waste of time. There should be an advisory panel which should represent our local communities. I went to one of the pre-inquiry meetings, a lot of business people there, and we have got a multi-billion pound industry probably, very, very worried about its future. And we have people with their lawyers and barristers struggling for justice. So I have seen in the press a hardening of attitude towards the towards those affected by Grenfell. Some people have been implying that they're they're greedy or they're ungrateful or whatever. Nobody's challenging the press when they come out with these outrageous statements. Write to the press, write to the journalists and put that record straight because we cannot have that community discredited. After six months I find it really shocking and appalling and disappointing that so many people are stood in hotels because I'm visiting people who've been in hotels for a very very long time and, and their physical and mental health is deteriorating fast. Prospect of Christmas coming, there are people with their children stuck in hotels. What a miserable miserable way to spend Christmas. Some people I've met in hotels I don't think are going to make it and that's very very serious. Some people are feeling bullied into accepting homes that aren't right for them and I still think they should send in commissioners to take over and run the council properly until we have some kind of different system whoever's in charge we need experts in there not people who are trying to cover their backsides some people may never ever recover out of life some people have lost everything including their entire family they are never going to be okay so how are we going to look after them into the future when we're failing to do that after six months Justice!